Hello, and welcome to episode 63. Yeah, nailed it. We're big 6-3. Big 6-3. We're getting to that awkward number in the very, 60s Very soon. insignificant number in terms of age. Really? What? You know, it's not like you're turning 21 or 50 or 60. Uh, yeah, or I guess so. so but I at, turned 63. At, at 60, you don't give a shit about that. I mean, yeah, you. I, I feel like at the age of 60, if I even remember my birthday, it would be... <laughs> I don't. Even, I don't even remember my age nowadays. Who am I? Oh wow, that's. Uh, do you know how many times people are like, "How old are you?" And I have to like. You do the maths. Pause. I was yeah. born in 2015. Because man, <laughs> when you're a kid, you fucking know on the spot. You just like, how old are you? Ten. I'm so proud. Yeah, how old? Exactly. Four. <laughs> I'm 13. Yeah. I'm a teenager now. Yeah, exactly. Now it's like, oh, I'm 20 something. I don't it's give easy a shit. for me. I'm over 30, so I'm like, oh, I'm old. <laughs> I'm you just go, I'm over 30, my, and people like condolences. My, my back is sore, <laughs> my hips giving in. Oh, oh dear God. You that, yet you still run more than that, yeah, that, most. It did happen the other day where I stood up and my one knee was sore. I was like, oh God, is this. It's happening. Is this the sign of old age, or have I just hurt my knee from uh, the. the race i did last week <laughs> i'm feeling fine now though but at the time i was like oh god <laughs> this i'm that 30 year old and i'm like everything hurts are you doing the 21 next weekend yes i'm the doing Wonders all of them i'm mm-hmm. doing 21 mm-hmm. as well hell yeah you, you, uh, can just you did again. you did the 10 hey yeah, how was it it was my second fastest 10k ever god damn you yeah, flew. i flew oh, <laughs> we started together we I was did like, i think goodbye. that's the only reason <laughs> because i was keeping up with you for like 4K. Yeah, when you left me, I was like, holy was crap, 4K, we're like halfway yeah. already. Yeah, it was very quick. And then the last 5Ks were I, hard for me. Yeah, oh but can God. I tell you, the rest of... I was also this, had the same thought pattern. 4Ks, and I'm like, damn, this race is flying. Then I left mm. you, and I was like, damn, this race is taking real long now. Yeah. <laughs> it, after, that, after those 5Ks, I was like, this is uh, hard. Was, and also, that's when the uphill started raining. Yeah. So. I was surprised when I left you, though, because we, we were running at like a normal pace. We did the uphills, and mm. then we were on a downhill... And I think I just do downhills very fast. Yeah, you do. You've also got much longer legs I, I was than just me. like going at what I felt was a normal pace. And then I just hear you say, bye, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it feels like you just shift into another gear. It's like I'm stuck in fifth gear and you're like in another car. And you're like, I've got a sixth one. And I'm sort of pushed like, this handy, I can't compete. This handy red NOS button quickly. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then I still, I could see you for quite a while. Like you were in front of me, but I would never catch you because I'd yeah. end up having to sprint. And then but eventually you just disappeared. Because it's really easy to spot you in Apparently. Front. Yeah, because well, you're I'm really tall. tall. <laughs> you've, got a, you've got good curly hair. I can always see oh, you. Man. So. People are just like, hey, there's that guy. What an asshole. And then I had the most, I think what I find the most irritating part of running is this girl kept passing me. Oh, and no. I passed her because she was walking. No. And she kept passing me. And I was I just like, that. this is fucking annoying. This is what happens at Parker and Ethel. I beat her at the end. Though. Oh, no. So did yeah. you sprint past yes. and pull a zap at her when you see her? <laughs> She started. She started running like, near me, like as we got on the field. I was like, "Not today." So this happens no. at Parkrun, though, where there's nothing more irritating. And so nothing wrong with kids. Okay, they're great, but mm. kids, kids are very are ambitious. They? Okay, they they'll like sprint past you, mm. like damn, that kid's full of energy, and then they'll be walking a K on, like <gasps> like dying, actually dying. You're like, so long, kid. You <laughs> suck. Learn to pace. Learn to pace yourself. <laughs> then you run. Then like five seconds later, they'll sprint past you. And you're yeah. like, what the hell, man? I just the- got tons of energy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's. it's I find it very, very annoying. Do you ever get the urge to like kick them out the way? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Damn, All Call, the time. calling yeah. the police. <laughs> I mean, you can try find me in the group of seven thousand people running. I, I could just call the police on you right now. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it'd be an awkward end to this podcast. Uh, uh, hands up! You're like swatting your own <laughs> podcast. Oh, we've got reports that you're the kid kicker. <laughs> I think it was in it's in news, but um, it happened this week since we're talking about it. But uh, the the winner of that Fortnite World Champs thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, he was like, he was he like was, 14 or 15. Yeah. Or whatever. He was swatted at his house. That's, he lives with his fucking that, parents. That, that like, is ridiculous. So for those of you who don't know, being swatted is, is basically, if imagine you're streaming <clears throat> and someone watches you streaming and they, I don't know how people figure out home addresses. Yeah, that's the thing. That, uh, but yeah. So what happens is someone will call the police and be like, yeah, there's, there's uh, a like, hostage situation. I don't know. There's, there's a hostage situation. Yeah. Or I know there's this dude who's like, he's got a bomb or something. Yeah. And then fucking SWAT arrive, kick down the door, and you see this happen on the person's stream. Yeah, and people think it's really funny. It's, it's, um, it's not funny. That's but not uh, cool. I, I thought it would stop when, you know, someone died because of swatting. And the really? Dude, yes. Who died? 
the it was, it was like a few years ago, and the dude who swatted him got convicted to twenty years in jail. Oh shit! So I thought, okay, cool, we we passed the stupid ass phase, but people still feel the need. Like, imagine because his his parents essentially came into his room during the stream and were like, the police are at the door. Oh like, shit! Like, imagine the parents not knowing, like, open the door. And the mother's got like a knife because she's cooking, or the dad's got like, <laughs> oh, geez, you know, and and it's like fucking SWAT, and you know America, and yeah, the fucking police. Oh so my God. And it's trigger it, happy. It's just so dumb. Like why? Yeah, yeah I don't whatever. know. That's it. Uh, yeah. Good lord. And yeah, the kid's like fourteen years old. Come on. That's not cool, man. No. Yeah. He should uh, with Champ- all his millions, he should hire like private security or something. <laughs> that won't stop the police. <laughs> Yeah, it won't stop the police. That's true. Unless he's yeah. like a, a drug lord, lives in an estate somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> High fences, guard dogs, everything. Yeah, that's pretty escape cool. Escape chopper. I mean, he has <laughs> the money now. He won like, what, $3 million oh or something? But you were telling me that gets taxed. As far I as I know, yes. But it's, it's not but like it, the lottery. It's not yeah. like a, a 10% like, oh, we'll take... No, it's like 40 some percent. It's, it's yeah. a lot of money. But I mean, even then, it's still a lot of it's money. Still, like, yeah. I mean, he still walks with 1.8 million, but when you're giving away 1.2 million to mm, <laughs> the yeah. government. It's you like, just feel, You feel sore after my, that. My, yeah. my fat wallet, which has just grown, is now small. Slightly it's still fat, smaller, yeah. But it's... <laughs> I'm 15. <laughs> oh my God. Did you see... I read an article um, about that Fortnite World Cup. Mm. And there were, it was written, it was like a local article, like a huge full sp- uh, page spread on the, the article. And then just just explaining to readers, like, this is a Fortnite tournament, esports, yada, yada. Yeah. But then there were quotes from um, there were some of the, the participants. Okay. So I think I must actually find it. But whoever came second or third, they also won not $3 million, but a significant amount of money. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but when asked what this kid was going to do, he's like, I'm going to buy a house and a pair of Gucci shoes. Oh, yes, I did see that. <laughs> like, that is a very specific <laughs> Maybe he's really wants Gucci shoes. He's like, I've been dying to join the Gucci gang. This okay. is... But, like, Gucci <laughs> shoes as well, like... Okay. Like, yeah, it's this like, 14, 15-year-old kid. Like, I'm buying a house and Gucci shoes. <laughs> like, okay. At least he's got his priorities straight with the house first. You yeah. Know? Yeah, but I was like, what a smart kid. You know, you invest in your property and Gucci shoes. Okay, yeah, like, Gucci what? shoes. <laughs> Maybe Gucci shoes... Go up in price, and we know. just don't know. Maybe we're living in 1999. Yeah, this know. kid's living in like 2030. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, Gucci shoes are the new gold. They're the new Bitcoin. Oh, my God. Oh, imagine. <laughs> Have you been farming your Gucci shoes? Oh, my God. I bet you there's a thing called Gucci coin. I'm going to look at, it up right at now. At this point, I mean, there's Gucci so many. Gucci coin. You could put any word in front of coin, and it would probably be a <laughs> cryptocurrency. Dogecoin. I mean, Dogecoin. That, is, that is an actual thing. Red Bull coin. Coffee oh coin. Oh, my God. Gucci. Gucci signature. Oh, that's a coin wallet. Okay, that's a an actual. Wallet. Okay, an actual. To store your actual it. coins. Gucci coin crypto. <laughs> <laughs> we've got. We've got to get. Imagine specific Gucci here. started their own cryptocurrency. Oh my god, there is a coin, and it's just called Gucci. Oh my goodness. Wait, is it? Is okay, it? there's it, it's there's a web page for it, but apparently it's. Okay, we should we should make it. We Gu- should. <laughs> we buy, this is our entry into the market. Buy Gucci. Uh, coin and you'll be. Oh, yeah. oh wait, there's there's an account called Crypto Gucci. I don't think that's a that's a currency. That's a dude who's just, just he's just a he's a thought leader when it comes to cryptocurrency. It looks <laughs> is that in his bio? <laughs> no, I'll read you his bio. He says trying to keep <laughs> trying to keep the crypto world Gucci. One tweet at oh, a time. Oh wow, <laughs> that's Crypto Gucci. Follow him on Twitter. What a guy. Such a blessing that Twitter is a free platform. Oh, no, wait, oh I know. Wait, I have to show you. Uh, okay, I've closed the page. We, we'll get off this topic now, but um, I just have to show you his page. No, man, c- c- open here. Matthew's oh, struggling to navigate oh, Twitter because God. he's over 30 now. So I, he's I, need, I need my glasses. <laughs> Lenska's behind us studying. She's just laughing at me now. <laughs> that dude, look at him. Whoa. It's, it's a dude who's wearing, is that like a fancy ass jacket? That looks like the dude who would SMS you to say you've won $10 million from a Nigerian prince. <laughs> like legitimately like, hey, I've got so much money. I want to give it away. And you're like, no, this is a scam. Exactly. He's like, 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 why wouldn't anyone give, take my money? I'm just trying to give my money away. He's wearing this fancy so is that looking Gucci jacket. Gucci Crypto. Yeah, that's Gucci yeah. Crypto. I trust him. It's completely he, he open, looks... bare chested. Yeah, bare chested with uh, no lens glasses. This is like. this is the Pierce Brosnan of cryptocurrency. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, we, we, we're done with, uh, with, <laughs> with Gucci coin here. Jeez, suck. That was good. I enjoyed that. Um, oh, God. This, this checkpoint chat, we talk about video games and Gucci Sometimes. cryptocurrencies. Mm. Um, at least I don't have to hunt for a title. Like, for, oh, Gucci, like, Gucci, it's Gucci it's coin. It's done. Like, Gucci <laughs> coin is there. Um, Gucci, man. It's good. So, yeah. Uh, talk about video games. Maddie's been playing a video game. Mm. Which is stand at the test of time. Remember, remember. Let, let's let's go on a journey here. Okay, remember it was like three or four weeks ago. Mm. I think on this very podcast, I shared a, a riveting tale where I shared my my, my addiction. Right, I walked in and I said, "You know what I, mean, I think." The first step is realizing <laughs> it is an addiction. So I told like you. I went, I went to the office. People people gave me so much shit. Hey, you're playing Dota too? Oh my god! Like your addiction's in a. Oh wait, this was Dota in. before. No, no, you remember? Remember, yeah. I, I was playing a bit of Dota, and everyone's like, "Oh, you're gonna get addicted. It's a slippery slope. <laughs> you know, it takes just one. It takes one ward to be a." You know, addicted again. It's like I've started <laughs> cocaine. Ooh, it's just Ooh, one no, line. Just, <laughs> just one line. <laughs> and then I walked into the office one day, and I, I legitimately, in, in pure honesty, said, "Guys, I have a problem. <laughs> like, what's wrong?" I'm like, "I think I'm addicted to Counter Strike." <laughs> like, what? And everyone laughed at me. I thought, "Well, as long as it's not Dota." They're like, "Okay." That's such fine. a dumb thing. It's like, <laughs> guess you're not on cocaine, but okay. heroin's I pretty mean, okay. Heroin's like, fine. It's yeah. okay. You know, do, as long as it's not cocaine. Yeah. So I've been playing a lot of Counter Strike. Okay, okay. And it's, it's an actual problem slash not a problem because I'm having to those knife I'm having skins? a lot of fun. No, you know, like knife skins are expensive. Don't even look at them. I have looked. Okay. They're too expensive. Have you got any several thousands? You know. Have you got any loot boxes that you sold? Yeah, does so Counter Strike I, have loot boxes? I, yeah, I okay. got a. So the typical loot box you can sell for like twenty cents. Okay, we're talking big money here, Gucci coin level. <laughs> Gucci of coin money, okay. <laughs> I got a I got a, a case the other day that I sold for eight rand. Like, oh damn, damn, damn! And I used that to immediately buy myself three dirt cheap guns. <laughs> so I haven't put any money in the game, but it's it's reinvesting itself. Okay. But speaking, <laughs> yes, I'm, this I'm is sure the, it is investing. This is the itself. investments episode, okay? Because <laughs> now we're going to bounce to Dota for a second. Okay. 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 So because I'm selling these chests on the marketplace, uh-huh. I ended up looking up what other shits I have on Steam. And oh, I was no. like, so remember, I, was, I mentioned this long ago with, with Dota 2. I, I did put a lot of money into the game, but I ended up getting back a fair bit of money as well. Yeah, you I sold playing, a bunch of it. I yeah. sold everything and I legitimately had like one and a half grand Damn. stuff, okay? Because some stuff was just, I just had a lot of stuff or some stuff was worth it. And bit. Gabe Noah's just rubbing his hands just, together because he's like, yeah, well, you Steam, have to spend this on our store no, anyway. But not so. only that, Steam takes a small cut as well yep. where with every sale in the market, It's like almost like 10% or something <sighs> like that. It's ridiculous. But anyway, <laughs> so going through my marketplace, I'm like, huh, that's cool. I've still got one or two Dota items. I mm. have a, a little puck ward. Ooh. It's worth 130 bucks. What? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? It didn't cost me that much. I Holy opened, crap. I opened a chest back then. It was probably like 20, 30 bucks. I'm like, these are some strong profits right here. I should, I should get back into the investment game yeah. on Dota yeah. 2 and Counter-Strike. Fuck cryptocurrency. It's all about it's Steam all, trading Steam, cards Steam and coin items. is the yeah. place where you should be. God, okay. I'm actually shocked they haven't done that yet. <laughs> that probably exists. Yeah. Evolve coin. Ga- new, Gabe Newell coin. Yeah, Gabe coin. <laughs> Gabe coin. Oh, no. It's just him in his little Pope outfit on a coin. <laughs> it's Pope Art, which have you not like, seen I have yeah it's a good time <laughs> our lord and savior yeah okay, Jeff Kaplan unrelated <laughs> <laughs> so I've been playing uh, a lot of Counter Strike but I've been having so much fun it's, mm. it's that game really is is timeless because it's been around a long time Counter Strike came came out the first, I mean 1.6 1. 1. and even Alpha and Beta whatever I mean there must have been a Counter Strike 1.0 before 1.6 wasn't it just called 1.6 because that was the version number of the the Steam Engine at the time. The I have no idea. Oh, is that, is that why it's called that? I think so. You're slapping with be some wrong. knowledge here. Yeah. <laughs> People but are... it was like Counter-Strike 1.6, then it went Counter-Strike Source? Yeah, Source, yeah. Then Counter-Strike Global Offensive, which is the one now. Which is one now, which, yeah. is which has been iterated already, on heavily. But it's a, that, that game's already <laughs> seven years old or so. Yeah, it's around about... Yeah, I was still working at uh, EGMR... E-gamer, E-gamer. when it came out because I remember I bought it because I edited at the time Dean was huge into Counter-Strike so mm. I bought it I'm like nope I'm still shit at Counter-Strike so but I'm you, not if having you fun take, if you take the time to mm. understand the game this is this is exactly <laughs> the argument people like don't no, it's but, like but listen, why don't you put 100 hours but, in no but the entry point to Counter-Strike I'd argue is much easier because you don't have to sit and learn 500 different heroes and the different abilities that's true yeah. and that. but it's the skill ceiling is just as high though yeah yes and no because when you play competitive, you get different ranks. And I must say, so I've been playing pr- pretty much regularly for the last 
three weeks to a month now mm. so i mean when i stream i stream tuesdays and thursdays that's guaranteed i'm playing three to four games of counter-strike and then every now and then on weekends on a friday or saturday evening i'll play a little like a couple mm -hmm. more games as mm -hmm. well and i must say the, the games that i've been you know thrown into you you got your rank and when the game's finished you get to see what the enemy's rank is and for the most part it's very close like we'll have I'll just dumb this down because the rank names in Counter Strike are actual garbage. But more <laughs> on that later. So say everyone on my team is like our three star players, three okay. to four star players. Okay. Yeah. Even on the enemy team will also be three to four star players. So the matchmaking works. It's it's really then. good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we played a game. It, it's so like John Michael Michael. Mm. He's he's hooked on it now as well. I, I told him I come play. He's like I won't. So now I'll get addicted. He's addicted now. <laughs> tried, he knew. He tried to stop himself, but he didn't stop himself. It's so his fault. You, you have to play. Um, you have to get ten wins before you get your rank. Uh, okay. okay. So like placement matches. Yeah, yeah. Like, but okay. It's a bit weird, but I'm not going to get into that. But you have to get ten wins to get your placements. And so there were four of us and him unranked. Uh -huh. So four ranked, one unranked. And often when we played against other people, it would be the same thing of there were four ranked people and one unranked uh -huh. person. Wow. So okay. and this is cool because this is all on local servers. We play against oh. other... So the South ping's really good as well. Players. Ping's great. The matchmaking works. Nice. Um, Just have casual racism every now and then. Yeah, I must say the, the community, like with when I played Dota for that, that short period of time, it's amazing how toxic that community is. But like Dota, ev every yeah. game's toxic. Like I, won't, oh, yeah. I won't do another, but Dota seems to be exceptionally toxic. Yeah. Where, uh, I mean, and I play, people just say like random shit. Like, okay, why would just you say down. that? Yeah. It's a video game. Whereas I've only had one or two instances of kind of shock, not racism, but people just being like, like absolute dicks. Yeah. Like unnecessary. Un like I had a dude, so because I've, I've played Source and whatever, it seemed picks up that I've, played kind of strike before i've got a thing called the 10-year veteran badge oh uh, so it's like this so people played like -Strike before. you're a veteran but you're so shit yeah but i've had a i had a guy i was like i was even having a bad game he's like did you buy your 10-year veteran badge? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, i was also like what a dick yeah first of all i don't think you can buy them but, but what an asshole what's it to you yeah what, what does this even mean yeah yeah, but so what I was getting at, you know, in a very roundabout way, is that Counter Strike's been around a long time, and mm. they, they've they've just improved the game every time. So what, when Source came out, it was a huge improvement on 1.6. Although people would say like, no, purists would be like, no, 1.6 is away. Source changed a whole lot. Um, I mean, but people the, are still playing 1.6. Today, yeah, people like, still like yeah. it's people like people playing original StarCraft. Saying, yeah, I'll, I'll never play true. StarCraft two. Yeah, so people Starcraft playing two. Defense of the Ancients instead of Dota <laughs> yeah, two. instead of Dota two. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the jump from 1.6 to Source was pretty big. Okay, like the whole graphic overhaul moved to the Steam engine properly. Well, I think the Source engine, whatever mm. it was called. Um, the jump from Source to Global Offensive, I don't think wasn't as big because for the most part it was very similar, but there were a lot, lot of improvements. Weren't there like additional but maps? And stuff yeah, like no, that? they've added a whole lot of stuff, but they've just streamlined a whole lot of stuff. And I mean, Counter Strike is twenty plus years old now, and it's it's such a simple premise. So for those of you who don't know, I know I've been talking about it for like yeah, what eight is minutes now. So it's it's a multiplayer only game where you have two teams, mm -hmm. um, terrorists and counter terrorists. You know, mm -hmm. I'll just call them good guys and bad guys. Um, yeah, it's so much murkier in today's world. I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at the time I was like, yeah, terrorists, and I was like, mm -hmm, okay, they yeah. might be a bit mm -hmm. loaded, okay. Um, and the premise is well. There are several game modes, but the one that's played the most, the one that's most popular is that the counter-terrorists have to defend two bomb sites and the terrorists have to um, try to blow up one of the bomb sites. Yeah, so the hostage game mode The sucks, hostage, hostage game modes, whatever. Sucks. But the bomb, the bomb plant mode is literally, if you're a terrorist team, you have to, you know, get onto a bomb site, put the bomb down, defend it, and blow up the site. Mm -hmm. And counter mm -hmm. terrorists, you're just trying to stop this from happening. And you always so, swear that one dude who doesn't buy the bomb defusal kit. Yeah, man. damn it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so the premise is as simple as that, but what makes counter strike different is that you don't just start... So like in Call of Duty, for example, let's just use that as a reference, you'll, you'll pick a class, get your loadouts, or you'll, you'll pick a class and then <clears> choose a gun and have your own attachments. You know, you can customize like that. Whereas Counter Strike, it's got this cool little spin where there's a currency in that you start with a set amount of money and you have to buy the items you want to use for the for the round. Oh, and, yeah, and your performance uh, in the round determines right, how much money yeah, you get. Yeah, just on that rounds, rounds are like two minutes long. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, yeah, so if you, you'll start first round, for example, everyone's got pistols because you don't have much mm, money, mm. but you get money for getting kills or for winning the round, and then you use that money to buy armor and better weapons and grenades, and that's where the, there's a lot of strategy in the game, which I really enjoy. That like skill will get you far, definitely, but there's a lot of strategy behind it as well. Um, it's like yeah. when you start a round, it is a thing of, okay, well, maybe you lost the last round. Do you risk buying heavy now and then you know, losing and being broke the next round, or do yeah. you save around to have better weapons? There's a lot of thought that goes into it. And not only that, you might you might, you know, need to buy grenades. So let's say you get smoke grenades and flashbangs and you know, if you know what a flashbang does, it just blinds a person temporarily, whereas smoke will just cover an area so letting you, you know, get past a sniper, for example. Mm. There's a lot of thought that goes into it which it's just so addictive. It's, like a, it's it really a good is. game. It's a good formula. Like, it's, yeah. yeah. For sure. It's, I mean, it, it wouldn't have lasted this long if it was a bad game. Yeah. So. Uh, and I think why I've been particularly hooked is that my friends and I are very similar ranks and we've been getting like fairly balanced matches. I don't think okay. I've, in the last month, I haven't lost the game like 16-1 or 16-3. It's always been 16 rounds to 13 or 16 rounds to 10. You know, it's mm. not like these huge rollovers. And that helps. Winning and losing, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's just been a lot of fun. And then, I mean, I, I have a long history with Counter-Strike because I used to land 1.6. Mm. And then when Source came out, that is when I got ADSL. Uh, so I, I okay. played that online and I played I was part of a competitive team for a couple of years. So I really have like... A soft spot for the series and mm. i've got a lot of memories and I like i'm not bad at it i know yeah you're pretty fair, good at it fair yeah. bit of how to play it so it's just it's just fun like i'm really enjoying it two questions yes What's your favorite map <sighs> dust two. Dust that, two. That, people give dust to a lot of shit because it is the most popular map mm. but I, I think it's one of the most balanced maps it's so I like, like it, yeah. everyone knows everyone knows the map for starters and it's it just feels like there's no I don't think it favors any specific team. I mean, I could be wrong. The pros are like, no, actually, the terrorists have a 55% win rate. Like, I don't know. To me, it feels very balanced. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of maps. Uh, I mean, I don't know when's the last time you played Counter-Strike. Uh, a while ago. But, like, there are there are some maps that I don't think were in source, such as there's Cash, there's Overpass, there's, a, there's like Is a whole Overpass lot of... the one in, like, that Aztec place? No, no, that I think that's Aztec. Oh, that <laughs> it's called actually Aztec? called okay, Aztec. Cool. <laughs> On the nose. On the nose. <clears throat> yeah, but it's a good time. And what's cool is that, well, I don't know, this could be cool or not cool. Counter Strike is free to play mm -hmm. at the moment. Okay. The problem with that, though, is if you take the free to play route, you're going to encounter a lot of hackers. Um, what? Because it's free to play. If you get banned, you just make a new account. Oh, uh, okay. So what you mean? I thought you were like, no, free to play accounts get pulled with like the uh, shit. No, 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 no. Where so Counter Strike is free to play, but there is a thing called the Prime Prime account where you pay mm -hmm. once off like I think it's 150, 200 bucks um, to to access Prime only servers and play uh, with Prime only uh, players, and you know you less likely to encounter hacking on okay. that. But I mean, if, if you want to give Counter-Strike a spin, it is free to, free to play. You can I think go, I've got a Prime account then because yeah, I, if you, if I you bought it, it when Global If you bought it, you have a Prime out, account. Yeah. And like besides the bomb plan modes, there are tons of other game modes. There's standard deathmatch, there's gun game, which is... Oh uh, yeah, I saw you, you played that the other day, which is pretty yeah, cool. You, yeah, you start... You basically start with whatever weapon, and every mm. two kills you get a new weapon. I think I can't remember if they copied that from Call of Duty or if it was the other. I way think around. it was the other way around because yeah. I remember it being in Source, and I don't know if it was in One Point Six, but I, I'm pretty sure kind of Shrek. It used to be one of my favorite modes, and I can't remember which Call of Duty is introduced. It's a, it's a lot of fun. It's cool. Yeah. yeah, it's like it's like deathmatch with a good spin on it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. My my favorite map spin. is uh, the airport one. But I know that's a hostage yeah. one. The so airport one. The one where it's like you you can get on the a plane that's like parked. Uh, uh, I remember that. that is I don't it not think, in I don't, the game anymore? I don't, maybe it is, but I don't see it in like the official Rotation. pool of maps or whatever. It might uh, be there. Oh, I, I always know. used to play that in 1.6. It was a good time. Yeah. Damn. Well, what a, that was a hostage what a game. Episode, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a good I, time. I find it really funny when you get to a hostage and you, you like press E so that they follow you and it's like, come with me. <laughs> like, there's a little whisper like hey hey, 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 hey drugs. <laughs> yeah on the hostage maps apparently that's that is in the, there are a few hostage maps in competitive 
in the the map pool, but no one plays them. Mm. Uh, one of my friends was telling me yesterday because what people do is that they'll take the hostages and use them as body shields. Oh my god! Because if you're a counter terrorist or for you anyone and you kill a hostage by mistake, you lose a lot of money. Yeah, tons. So of money, yeah. it's like, well, then why even play that? You're yeah, gonna know. hide behind the hostage, and make the other person kill them. The hostage <laughs> maps suck. Like I've never enjoyed that game mode at all. So. Yeah, I get that. Uh, I, I promised my friends I'd plug plug an app that they've been using, mm. sm Smoke Sensor on Android. Huh? <laughs> smoke Sensor. It's, uh, smoke, Smoke, Smoke Sensor. Remember, Counter Strike's very strategic. Okay, uh -huh. it's not just about buying grenades; it's about knowing where to throw these grenades. Uh -huh. This app that my friend Cello found this week uh -huh. tells you it, it breaks down every single map, tells you where's the best place to throw the smoke, and he's been using it like crazy. He's like, "Yeah, I've I've ranked up since I've used this app." <laughs> Okay, so I'm like, okay, I'll plug it for you. <laughs> for no reason. Smoke, what? There we go. Smoke, smoke Center. Smoke Center. Oh, no, Center. S oh, Center. Yeah. Okay, it's available. It sensor. Available only on Android, unfortunately. <laughs> wow. Which is yeah. why, why, my, didn't get approved is why my rank is so low because I don't have Smoke Center. <laughs> <laughs> my Apple. Oh, yeah, the second question Who's your favorite character? Favorite character? Yeah, I like the terrorist with the sunglasses. He's cool. there, there, there's a dude he wears like a turtleneck it's a good time <laughs> there's a dude on dust too who's bald and has sunglasses he just looks what? funny what did they redesign him I don't know because uh, it used to be the terrorist remember it used to be a dude in like green a green top uh, and sunglasses yeah this is a bad badass looking dude <laughs> wow they've changed the character models what is this game <laughs> where is this other I, I'll find it I have something here but yeah I think they've changed the models huh because then there used to be the dude who looked like Rambo. He was like the typical <laughs> terrorist with the red bandana. Oh, yes. Okay, no, I do remember that. No, they, they've changed the models. Then. Ah, boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> then probably the bald guy is the guy I'm thinking of. They've just changed his model. God damn. Yeah. That sucks. That's kind of shit. No, no, I'm not playing kind of shit anymore. Oh, they took away my favorite character. God damn. Yeah. I love playing as that dude. He that cool. guy. Yeah, that guy. God with, damn. With buying a Desert Eagle, wrecking shop. I don't know. Yeah, that 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 guy. That's all I can contribute. That's <laughs> Good time. I'll probably speak about it more though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't see the addiction going away anytime soon. Do you want to plug your Twitch again? Twitch Twitch TV slash Hairy Knees. Hairy Knees. Hairy Knees. It's it's all in the name. Join for some random lols and. You should wax your knees, knees on air one day. Huh? No. Just no. your knees though. <laughs> so it'll be Waha. like hair, no hair, hair again, hair again. <laughs> no, non hairy knees. How about uh, just Benny's? You heard it, Chef. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's leave me. What are what are you playing? Um, so I'm busy playing a game that I yeah I don't know. You see, I don't want to put the episode out on Tuesday just just for this game. So I'm not going to talk about me. it. Just oh, you can't even mention. No, it no, I can. It's called Rem Remnant from the Ashes. It's yeah. a game made by the Gunfire Games who made Dark Siders Three. Uh, oh, I remember you talking yeah, about it. Okay, and it's like a, it's like a weird mix between a third-person shooter and like Dark Souls. It's odd. It's strange. I'm having I'm having a, a good time with it, but it's odd. Like it doesn't always blend in the way that it should. But anyway, um, I'll chat about that more next week. I guess. Next week, Ooh, uh, little little play, teaser. I did play a game this last weekend called Dark D A R Q, not K. D A R Q. Yeah, so it's dark. Dark where? Dark where? Dark you. Yeah. I mean, you are the copywriter, yes. Yeah, so you're the authority. I'm speaking. People look at me for authority. I'm like, yeah, that's how it's pronounced. Look, like, Google, what do you think? <laughs> oh, that's it. Yes, that's how it's pronounced. Dark. Okay, so dark. it's dark where now. Dark where? Yeah, yeah, dark okay. dark where. Um, It's like a puzzle puzzle adventure game. Yeah. That way. Um, it's only about two hours long. I finished it in about two hours. Oh, um, what did you play it on? On PC. Um, I, I don't know if it's on consoles. But uh, so basically, you are this Tim Burton esque looking kid. Like the whole game looks like a Tim Burton film. Oh, yeah. Like your characters That's cool. are all like skinny and it's weird and dark and uh, it's like lots of shades of gray and purple and stuff. It's a, it's a Tim Burton thing. The inspirations Damn. are worn on the sleeve there. Um, and he, from what I can gather, is. All the, all the stages take place in his dreams, like lucid dreaming. Yeah. So <clears throat> it allows uh, each of the stages to have like these weird, um, like supernatural mechanics to them. So mm. the main mechanic in the game is if you go up to a flat wall, you are able to shift, gra um, like shift the center of gravity and walk on that wall. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. So it like ro- it rotates your entire view, and now that wall has become your floor. Essentially. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. So that is like introduced in the first the first chapter, and from then on, it kind of just builds on that. So like the stage after that, you'll have these levers that rotate parts of the room. So oh, you wow. can rotate the parts of the room, then shift it again by like you know walking up yeah. to it. And then it Damn. levels after that, you'll have levers that shift your perspective forwards and backwards. Because most of the time, you're just walking on a 2D plane. And sometimes you'll hit a lever and it will like throw you forward into uh, the level. Oh. Um, and then you've got a whole new plane to walk into. So you're like combining all this like shifting perspective and shifting the construction of the like room you're in. It's pretty cool. That's cool. Um, and the puzzles are really, really satisfying to solve. But um, it's, it's only like three hours long. Yeah, so there's like seven chapters, um, Chapter and one. once you're done, because of the nature of it being sort of like an adventure game, so you're you're finding you're using all these mechanics to essentially find items mm. uh, that you can use to open doors or solve like light puzzles. Like, I found a snake, and I used the snake as a bridge in this like broken <laughs> electrical circuit, which I thought was pretty cruel, but yeah. <laughs> Um, snakes in a play yeah snakes <laughs> um, and then I had to solve oh the one the one puzzle was was really cool it was like those um, you know those things you got as a kid where it was like a maze with like a little ball bearing uh, and you yeah, had to yeah. get it to the middle mm-hmm. so it was like that where I was rotating this thing and had to get this thing into the middle but while I was doing that the camera was rotating Oh. So I couldn't always see the puzzle, uh, but at the same time, every time it rotated, this monster, because you're in lucid dreaming, so this is more like a horror game as well. <gasps> oh boy. Yeah. So this, every time it rotated, it would show this monster behind me getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> and after, like, if I didn't solve the puzzle quick enough, the you monster died. just killed me. But it, but it was so, it was so atmospheric because they were in like a wheelchair and I could hear it creaking. Oh, and no. Every time it rotated, <laughs> I just saw them closer, ah. and closer and I was like, fuck. And when I can't see the puzzle, I'm like struggling to try and yeah. solve it. It oh was really God. good. It was, um, I really like that P- part a lot. P- PG-18, a simple puzzle yeah. game, but bring spare, spare underwear. Sp- bring spare underwear. <laughs> it's, it's creepy. It's got this, um, yeah, it's, a, it's like creepy, but it's also just unsettling. Like um, the one stage I had to find four severed arms because I couldn't, Damn. I couldn't reach these power like switches. So I had to use the severed arm to like, mm. pull the switch. <laughs> And another place what there, is was, this game? there was an elevator <laughs> that was operated by dismembered legs that were just what? like cycling <laughs> gears. Oh my god. It's, like, it's some real body the, the horror ar- shit. Artists of this game must have had a lot of fun. There was one <laughs> enemy that had like a big tuba as a head. So to be on a oh wheelchair no. and if I got too close it would like blow me into pieces. Shit. Um so yeah, it's it's got a real good look and it's real unsettling. Um the only part I didn't like about the game was there's stealth sections because you can't fight. Uh, okay. um, so whenever there's an enemy, you and because you're only moving on a 2D plane, you essentially just interact with these points where your character can hide mm. and then you've got to wait for the guy to walk past. And then uh, okay. it's like very rudimentary and very boring and it slows down the pace of the game like way too much. Damn. Like the amount of times I had to like hide and just wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, get out, get an item, hide again, wait, wait, wait. Like it was shitty just too too yeah. shit but um the game itself is pretty dope this the puzzles are stupidly good like what was what platform do you play it on i again? played it on pc, PC it's on okay. steam yeah how much is it it's uh cheap. i don't know i think it's probably cheap um three million dollars because there's so not much is. there's not much replayability because like an adventure once you game do it, once done, yeah, yeah what like i played through it again just to find some collectibles but like i was blazing through it because there's no other ways to solve its puzzles it's like you need this item to solve it here you need this you know damn it although you say that okay a game like that's probably not replayable but i think of games like portal 2 i'm like i'm gonna replay that one day yeah that's (laughs) that's completely different because you can but not only that i haven't played it for years i've probably forgotten (laughs) most of the solutions but that one's more like execution based yeah because you could you could kind of do the puzzles in weird different ways there oh yeah you can you know be a bit more creative with how you solve them Dark is 130 bucks, and I Damn. definitely think at that price it's worth it. Um, uh, d- dark, I'll show you, I'll show you the, <laughs> the weird eeriness that I'm Fall. talking about. Oh, wow. That's a bit like Limbo. Yeah, just, it, just it, the, it gave the... me very Limbo vibes, actually. Um, okay, so it is like a 2D... 
yeah, platformer-ish. Pla- it's thing. not so much platformer Which because you're not really, but that it's puzzle solving. That is creepy solving. F. Yeah. That is, it, it is a lot like Limbo actually looks like. But it's pretty cool. In terms of like the, the black and white, but even the, oh my, that looks awesome. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, you see, so you, you like, you can shift like the perspective. That's very um, cool. See, there's the little oh, no. dis- dismembered <laughs> legs. And oh, then you can the shift hell? like gravity forward. Yeah, it's, uh, it's super per- weird. Sure, that's interesting. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yeah, it's a it's a cool game. Um, Is it only on PC? I don't know, actually. I, it, might, it might be for now. Yeah. But, um, it's got 71 on Metacritic. I gave it a 7. Uh, God damn. I reviewed it. What did you hate about it? Spot. It was Seven's ba- a bad score. It's basically the stealth and also like <laughs> uh, it yes, started okay. building up so much momentum at the end and then it just ended. And I was, I was like, like ah. Uh, it was like, I, it wasn't bad. I just wish it was m- more. Yeah. I just How many reviews it does it be. have? It's actually got a... Yeah, it's got GameSpot. IGN gave it a 7.5. I had no idea the main character's name was Lloyd because they never mentioned that in the game. <laughs> L- Lloyd! They're like, th- this game has like no tutorials. Oh, like, really? So you It's just... literally, but it, but it designs its puzzles in such a way that you walk, you get to a wall, you're like, I can't go anyway. So I just I just press the action button and uh, I was like, whoop. And I was like, oh, got that, it. Sorry to keep comparing it to Limbo, but Limbo is the same way in that you literally just start. You give it yeah. no context, nothing, and you figure out how to solve puzzles or get through. Essentially. Well, get past everything you face. Yeah. So IGN also frustrating stealth encounters and an overabundance <gasps> of jump, jump scares. scares. There were hardly any jump scares. <laughs> an overabundance, apparently. There were like, three or four jump scares and i thought they were pretty clever like b- at the beginning of each stage you're in like his room yeah and you have to go to bed and then you see him like transport into his lucid dreaming and uh, in one of them yeah as you're about to uh so you're sleeping so you're waiting for the same like yeah. cinematic to play and this thing just fucking runs oh. into your room <laughs> i was like oh shit okay it played with like my <laughs> that's terrifying <laughs> yeah exactly it played with my expectations of oh, it's God. like so yeah i don't and want I, to play it, this it, game it, it was annoying because i had I was watching, I was like, I'm just going to check Twitter, Twitter quick. And as I did that, I had it on my speakers and it just had this like sharp ping. And I was like, fuck! <laughs> yeah, it was good. That explains your, your tweet the other day of going, <laughs> <laughs> just That was just me, uh, but tweeting. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Dark was, uh, Dark was cool. I, no. For 130 bucks, definitely. That's cool. And I think it's like the first game from the, the Unfold studio, Unfold Games. Games. Yeah. Mm. They, they were so cool. They messaged me on Twitter. They're like, thanks for reviewing Dark. I was like, oh. <laughs> sorry for the jump scare. Yeah, sorry for the jump scare. Sorry. They, they we'll re- send you underwear in the mail. <laughs> they retweet your butt tweet by mistake. <laughs> 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 look at our game <laughs> look, did. At, look what we did. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's what we've been playing this week. Yeah, I played a bit of Astral Chain as well. <laughs> oh. Which, uh, I mean, people were putting out previews for the first hour, so I assume I can talk about Astral that as well. Astral Chain is Platinum Games. Platinum Games. S- Switch exclusive. Squish, swi- Squish exclusive. New, yeah. new Squish exclusive. Squish exclusive, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't really know what Astral Chain is about, but I'm a cop. It's police simulator. I chose a, I chose a, a, anime a woman. Anime police. Yeah, anime oh, nice. police. Chose a woman. She's got a baton oh. and a gun. So when you say you chose a woman, is do you, is it like pre-made characters or classes? So there's or? two, and you can edit like their hairstyle and eye color oh, and nice. stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, but like, if you chose a dude, for example, do you have the same weapons? You know. Ye- I think so. Yeah. Okay. So. I think so. Baton. Yeah, your... baton. The, like the the opening cinematic was weird. <laughs> it just looked like these scientist dudes summoning this monster and then like confining him to this metal suit. I don't know. I was just like, I don't know what that is. This game is anime, though, and right? then and then yeah, fuck man. And then you choose your character, and the opening scene is like this like shmup section while you're like on a motorbike on the highway, like shooting enemies, <laughs> while there's like opening credits, and it's just like fucking neon everywhere. And nice. I was like, this is good. This is this great. is platinum being I platinum mean, as just, fuck. Just just to for some context, so that baton you have doesn't it double as a, as a gun? As <laughs> I think. So I think I think it converts because it's I, like convert your weapon. I, yeah, because I, I remember watching a gameplay video and it was a thing of like, okay, this is, they're now using a gun. Look like the same. Yeah, weapon. which is kind of weird because in Bayonetta, it's like your guns are just a different button. So yeah. You have to actively change uh, okay. to like a gun stance or a baton stance, and the the combat doesn't feel as. I mean, I've played like three, four combat encounters, but it doesn't feel as fast. Mm. It feels like more weighty. Like I press the button and. Um, 
my character really swings at the uh, battle. No. It's not like immediate, you know. Oh, speaking of these games, so, I, need yeah. to, I need to finish Bayonetta 2. That, that is a mm. platinum ass intro to a game that if is, there ever was so one. <laughs> Fighting uh, demons on the back of a jet engine after I you've mean, kicked it into the air. Yeah, well, haven't you ever done that before? I, it basically goes like Christmas shopping, jet engine... Bayonetta kicks it into the air. Now you're fighting you're flying angels. It. Oh, you're not flying it. You're on yeah. it. <laughs> and the 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 um the devil dude who gives you guns is I driving a car on the side of skyscrapers. Yeah, yeah. Because of course, of course, he is. <laughs> Platinum ass video game man. You gotta love them. They know man, how to do. They, they know how to do, do game intros. Shit, yeah. yeah. But Astral Chain, um, I'll get to chat about it more next mm. week. Yeah. Next week, I'll be bringing more kind of strike talk to the table. Fuck yeah. So <laughs> oh, <excited>. yeah. <laughs> New smoke strats. <laughs> <laughs> New smoke sensors. Thanks, thanks, yeah. thanks to smoke sensor for the... Yeah, I should get a sponsorship with them. Smoke yeah. sensors. Give me an Android We got phone, this uh, smoke grenade from it. smoke sensor. We're just going to set it off here real quick. Oh, that was... Ah, I can't, can't see Alessandro anymore. Where is he hiding? <laughs> it's so effective. <laughs> it's super effective. <laughs> um, uh, should get you... to uh, get gaming releases. Are we are we out of this um, lull yet? No. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we are definitely getting there. Um, what is where's my out? <gasps> your thing? What's up? Where is my? Uh, uh no. This is um this is your old age showing right now. You really forgetting shit? I don't know why it. it, it Deleted my... Oh, do you have a bookmark somewhere? Yeah, and it's like Oh, gone. it's gone. You've been hacked. Wow. That's kind of weird. This is what you get for investing in Gucci coin. <laughs> you know, your yeah, account's been compromised. Oh. Fair enough. Um, Looking at releases from... What's your say? 16th. Jesus. 16th? 16th of August already. 16th of August to the 20... Of the something something. Third. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so on August 20th, we've got Remnant from the Ashes. This is a game I'm busy playing. Um, PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Uh, Hunt Showdown, PC, Xbox One on August 20th. Mm. We've got Rad, the new game Rad. from Double Fine. It's like oh. a roguelike, like, sort of like Nuclear Throne. I'm, oh, man. It hasn't been doing super well in the reviews, but oh, I'm no. curious to play it. I kind of want to play Double, it. What did they make again? Double Fine? Uh, Tim Schafer, you made uh, like I've, I've, I've Grim Fandango. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they made like a roguelike. Full full throttle. Okay. Uh, Psychonaut. Double fan. Uh, you know any of these? Yeah, mm. yeah, I mean, they, I think they're ringing a bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, that's coming to PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Yeah, I'll probably grab that on Switch. Uh, Switch A. Songs of Skydale, Steam Early Access. PC. <laughs> Only Naki. Oh, that's cool. That is oh, the that's new... The... Japanese. The dudes who made uh, Square Enix who made it's Japanese RPG I'm, Factory. I am Setsuna and yes. Lost Sphere. Tokyo RPG Factory. Sorry, that's it. Yeah, they made I am Setsuna and Lost Sphere. Yeah, Only Naki. Only Naki's got a demo out, and uh, good pal Umar <gasps> is super excited He's about enjoying it. it. It looks good because I think people really liked I am Setsuna. It was like a I still want to play it. Yeah, it was like a classic Final Fantasy type vibe. And I think it was, I could be wrong, but I think it was loosely inspired by Chrono Trigger. Yes, if I'm not which, mistaken. Which a lot of people will tell you is one of the best uh, JRPGs ever mm -hmm. made. So I thought that was yeah. Chrono Trigger 2. No, there was only Chrono Trigger 1. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I haven't played any of them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I know a lot of people didn't feel super hot on Lost Sphere, but only Naki... It's got a really cool... It's coming back. It's bringing the team oh. back. PC, PS4, and Switch. Oh, boy. Nice. Black Desert on PS4, August 22nd. Do you know what Black Desert is? Is it, a, is it an army thing? No, I think it's an... Wait, what is it coming to? PS4. I think it's a, an MMORPG that I, oh, I keep, I keep right. hearing about, but I don't know anything about it. I think you are right. Black, Black, Black Desert. Uh, control it's like some... Some random MMORPG that's got yeah. Well, quite, as soon as I Google it, I get Black Desert Online. So. I think they yeah, it's Black Desert Online. Wow, you're right. Black Desert Online is a sandbox oriented, uh, oriented yeah, oriented fancy, massively multiplayer online role playing game. Jesus, fuck. damn, that the, is quite the, a. This is a genre. <laughs> sandbox oriented, fancy, massively multiplayer online role playing game. Hot damn. Woo. Sounds sounds about right. By Korean company Polar Bus and originally published. 
for Microsoft Windows in 2015. Okay, it has been known as Black Desert Remastered since 2018. Oh boy, coming to PS4. Yeah, cool. Get your anime on. <laughs> oh, nice. Whipsy and the Lost Atlas. I oh, know. I whip my hair back and forth. No? 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 <laughs> Whipsy. Okay. No, get out. Whipsy's my hair back and that forth. That is a big Whipsy. Yeah. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh, okay. Super Dodgeable Beats. Kind of want to know what that is. Duck, Dodge, Dav. <laughs> Duh, duck. What are the five Ds of Dodge? Oh, man. <laughs> duck. Dodge. Dodge, dive, oh, deflect, no. isn't it? Uh, I don't know. Def- okay, I'm, defend I'm and dive. Five Something. Ds. Of dodgeball. This is important. Five Ds of security. Wow. Google. Five, five Ds, Ds of dodgeball. Remember the five Ds of dodgeball. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. That's it. Duck, dip, dip. That you know that, that fucking good. You know that, that actor died? He did, yeah. It's like last week or before. Sorry, what game were we looking at? <laughs> <laughs> that something dodge super something? super dodgeable beats dodgeable That's beats it. dodge duck dip dive dodge <laughs> yeah <laughs> fuck that movie's good when he's just throwing spanners at oh my god it is a dodgeball <laughs> oh game. yes and it's coming to nintendo switch does it have patches of hulahan in it what that, that's the dude man oh is his name patches <laughs> i think it's patches patches oh my god patches patches let's watch this trailer Wow, super dodgeball beats. I, I love the this soundtrack. Is coming through. It should come through. Can you guys hear that sound? This yeah, is look. anime as fuck dodgeball. See, the dude's name's Patches O'Houlihan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, this is anime dodgeball, if we're being honest. You can play oh. as a dude in a scuba gear. Wow, this is a terrible trailer. It's showing loading mm. screens. Mm. Mm. It's like a... Tr- strategy oh, well. check out the referee he's just fucking twerking he's just like <laughs> yes. yeah boy <laughs> what is going on i have no idea what's it's going like, on it looks like okay let, let's read the description of the game okay i'm gonna stop this now Yo, um, that was some uh some ear music definitely <laughs> <laughs> um let's get to it is it on steam uh, mm, 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 synopsis mm. You only have to glance through any sports newspaper to see that dodgeball... Okay, now the page is loading, so I have to wait. The dodgeball? Please hold. Tune in next <laughs> week to find out what... <laughs> uh, see, the dodgeball has become the most important sport in the world, or at least in the newspapers that we read. We place ourselves in the present in Japan with three bad students from a secondary school set up a dodgeball team. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, oh. The Anime. top eight go on to play in the playoffs... In fact, our protagonist set up the, an amateur team and almost by accident will find themselves involved in the most important world dodgeball competitions. Now it's time to battle it out in an arena to try and win the championship. Looks like a fun time. Okay. I like these scuba guys. They're pretty cool. Patches of Hulihan. And that dude looks like he's Goku, but for dodgeball. <laughs> it actually looks a bit like, and you know, funny because we just mentioned Chrono Trigger. Looks a lot like... The Chrono Trigger guy? Yeah. Um, last game out this week is Life is Strange 2 Episode 4, which I, I feel like those episodes have been coming out so slowly. Very slowly. Um, I'll still have to finish Life is Strange. Man, next one. week is some fucking shit. Oh boy, what's and then the week after that week? is some shit. Okay, what's, um, give me give me your top three from next week. World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft Classic. Oh. Control. <gasps> nice. Oh, I, I really hope the game's good. I'm so excited for that game. Um, oh, actually... Ashley, by the Ashley? time by the time we re- by the time we record next week, mm-hmm. the week coming, you know, so the week yes. we're talking about. Oh, oh man, it's like everything. It's like Ancestors from Patrice Desley. It's Astral Chain. It's Blair Witch. Oh man, it's uh, <gasps> Borderlands Three is coming soon. Borderlands Three is very soon. <sighs> I'm excited for Do, that. The beginning of September Gears as well. That's Borderlands Three, Gears Five, Link's Awakening. <gasps> Yes, I'm so excited. That's cool. Nice, nice. Yeah, so. Okay. Uh, news? Yes. What, gen, what gen happened news. in news this week? I don't know. News News has been... The news has been pretty... Oh, it's you know Gamescom. This, this coming week. week yeah. Hope. And Gamescom looks far busier than I've ever seen it. Mm. Um, there's so many reveals happening at Gamescom, it seems. Oh, uh, PlayStation thanks to there. Jeff Keighley. Yeah. Play, okay. So the, fucking Hideo Kojima is going to show up oh, for Death Stranding really? there. Yeah. <laughs> Hideo himself. There. Speaking of Hideo Kojima, I don't know if it was last week. I think it was last week because we never spoke about it. But um, a bunch of Sony sites took off Death Stranding from the exclusive list. Oh, so shit. So there's lots of word that it might be coming to PC. Hot yeah. damn. Yeah. That is yeah. cheeky, though, because I don't know. I feel like um, PlayStation gave Hideo a, 
a, a big fuck a you. Big, no, I mean, no, I, I think they he started his studio and they backed him. Should yeah. Have yeah. So I I don't know how that works I mean, because like Sony's paying for that game. Yeah. Well, we don't know. Let's see. Um. Hey, say. So let's see. This is a Gamescom schedule. Uh, all of the like press events, if you want to call them that, will take place on Monday. They're not going to be as big as um, E3, but it's like still way more than I'm used to at Gamescom uh, for you, the past few years. You know what's nice about Gamescom? Gamescom, though, for South Africans. It's in our time zone. In our time zone. Yeah. Oh. So Microsoft on Monday is doing an inside Xbox uh, at 6 p.m. Central European time. So I think that's 6 p.m. here. Or it might be an hour before or something. I don't know. Who knows? Um, They're going to be showing Gears 5 campaign for the first time and it's Horde mode. We also have looks at Battletoads, Blair Witch, Age of Empires, Destiny 2 Shadowkeep, Ghost Recon as well. And it's an hour long. Nice. Then uh, straight after that, we've got Google Stadia. Um, So they're going to try to convince you that you should subscribe to their shit at the end of the year. But uh, hmm. Okay. Then straight after that is the Gamescom opening ceremony, which Jeff Keighley is um, going to be hosting. hosting. And Jeff, this is where the big reveals are happening. So um, you're going to have Hideo Kojima there with Death Stranding. You're going to have Activision there showing off Call Cut. of Duty's campaign for the first time, I think. Um, Bungie's going to be there for Destiny stuff. Sony, Ubisoft, and Capcom. There's also a game called... I think it's called Disintegration. I might be wrong. It's being made by the co-creator of Halo, and it's a sci-fi shooter, and it's being revealed there, and I'm <laughs> super dope, super down for that. It's so. going to be a rip-off called Hello. Um, yeah, so that's Gamescom. opening nights at Gamescom. So by so, the time, when yeah. you, if you listen to this on Monday, grab grab your popcorn, because tonight you're going to watch some, mm-hmm. uh, some sweet mm-hmm. game reveals. Wait, is that Jeff Keighley thing on the Monday as well? Yeah, oh, okay. all, all of those all on, Monday. on Monday. Yeah, and all one after the other. Damn. Damn, Daniel. Um, C-A-S-T. Good trivia. Gamescom was when Maddie and I first became friends. <gasps> Who would have thunk? Who would drank beer the one morning? It was a great a mm-hmm. warm beer. We watched beer. Dota International. Oh my God. On is our last. Guy, is this guy shooting fire from his crotch? From his penis. Wow. <laughs> That's a strange the, header. Well, have you seen the name of the thing? Truth is Stranger Than Fiction in the comedy drama The Death of Dick Long. Interesting. Okay, that's I thought Truth was that, the name of the is movie. That movie news. We're in the wrong yeah, tab. Yeah, that's yeah. movie news. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, we're in the wrong tab. Why My that, bad. Why was that dude shooting fire from Yeah, I was, that was just a very concerning picture. <laughs> oh, um, no. Destiny 2 is making some cool changes for its expansion. Um, the long and short of it is, uh, is basically when the expansion launches, it's going to just push everyone's equipment level up to 750 which is like the minimum for the expansion damn um and then you'll be able to level it up to like 900 after that so that's cool if you have if you like me and you haven't been playing for ages 45 years hmm. it's a good time um Fortnite. Fortnite's new brute mech was added so that more players could win a match says epic so for losers like me <laughs> and me people who don't want to build you know loot crate filed for bankruptcy Wait, which is currently, uh, which is weird, yeah. Loot crate the dudes who you what, but get a box. It's every like month. a subscription yeah. service. You get a box of shit every month. Some of them are themed, I, so it's like this is movie theme, this is gaming theme. I always wonder about those mm. um, companies. I don't know how well they do. Like, Clearly, I, not the, that well. The premise, the premise is cool. So if you don't know, you basically pay like a monthly fee, mm-hmm. and you receive a random box with a whole lot. Well, you receive a box with a whole lot mm-hmm. of random loot mm-hmm. in it. So. You might, for example, pay, let's say, 200 bucks a month and every it's month you like get a box. Yeah. Or, yeah, and then you'll get like a shirt, a collectible, stickers, like a whole lot yeah. of random collectibles. A comic book, maybe. Comic book. Oh, no, it's cool. We've, I, we've got something. Well, I don't know if they still exist. We have something. We had a local one, yeah, but that Nerd, Nerd wasn't it, good. I it, didn't like it. Is it not around anymore? I don't know. I haven't seen it in ages. <laughs> Nerd Nab. I but I, I subscribed to Loot Crate for a few months because they would deliver it here. And uh, the shirts were most of the time worth it. Mm. I have some really, I have a good Black Panther shirt from them and a good Wakanda Rick and Morty forever. one. Yeah. So, nice. but other than that, a lot of the stuff in there is like, it's, it's like stuff. toys and it's garbage. Usually. <gasps> well, so. Actual garbage. Open it like, what, <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is the smell? Crumpled the paper. Why is it here? <laughs> um, da, games, da, da, da. Gamescom. Will there be Final Fantasy VII stuff at Gamescom? Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you read the stuff about the villains in Borderlands 3? I did not. So apparently Borderlands 3 is becoming a lot more self-aware than I thought it was possible. 
the villains are basically like streamers on Pandora. Oh. <laughs> and they Actual basically influences. weaponize their fans against Oh, you. shit. So, <sighs> like, all the enemies are kind of like super fans of these two So, you're streamers. actually killing innocent people. Well, no, Maybe. they're trying to kill you. Maybe innocent people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think that's... That's interesting. Kind of though. awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's, and very kind of, like, real. Yeah. Like a real term. Like, how many times did you see on Twitter, like, some popular YouTube or streamer Fair say something turning, and yeah. the fans just turn on that person it's like crazy. Insane, so, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's like it's like that whole Doctor Disrespect thing, for example, yeah. where he was streaming from the he streamed from the bathroom, got banned, and you have pe- half of people saying like, "Yeah, like what a dick," and you have his fan base going like, "No, nah, man, like let the doc be this sort <sighs> of thing." Yeah, no. Nah. So it's yeah, fuck it's, that guy. I, I'm excited for that because for for um the Borderlands too. So Handsome Jack was the antagonist in Borderlands soon. I, I still to this, to this day I think he's one of the best bad guys. Like equal parts agree, yeah. equal parts evil and funny and just it's like what a memorable character. So and I'm such a cool design see, as well. I thought yeah. his like um mask and everything were yeah. awesome. Yeah. So I'm excited to see how like what what are these two new bad Did they ever show what was streamers? underneath his face? Was it I th- like a, I think it was touched on. If wasn't not it in, like the vault symbol under his face or something like that? I can't remember. If not in the game it might have been in uh, Tales from the Borderlands but from Telltale because yeah or, or maybe I, I just know. remember I his know, mask sorry, coming sorry, off I'm, when I'm you speaking kill rubbish it's probably in Borderlands the pre-sequel because oh. remember you're working for Handsome Jack in that yes, game yes. so I, I have a I have a vague memory as well of like you see what's under the mask I, hmm. I can't remember what though okay well we can um, look it up Splunky 2 has been delayed, delayed. definitely no. yeah, have you played Splunky 1 yes it's fantastic it's good I haven't played it bring it to Switch is it not on Switch if no. it comes to Switch I'll buy it it's on Vita but uh, <coughs> you have my Vita. Scoffed I think. Do you still no, I don't. I have your normal. Oh, you gave it back. No, you did yeah. give it back. I have your normal PSP. Oh my! How's that? How's that? A crisis call going? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, yeah, Splunky to Derek. You basically just said on Twitter that it's not gonna make 2019. I know. Um, and that he's well, he didn't specifically say anything, but he didn't commit to a date after that. So read into that what you want. Um, oh, it is. Yeah, you're right. oh, we saw that new Ghost Recon. I mean, not Ghost Recon. Need for Speed by Ghost Games. You're right. Oh, it's a vault symbol on his He's face. He's got a vault on his face. Oh, yeah, they showed off the new Need for Speed. Um, it looked, uh, super, it, super generic racer looking. Yeah, yeah. It I mean, looked, they're trying no, to get that underground era going yeah, not, again. Not in terms of um, actual gameplay, because they didn't show much. It was like a Mm-mm. snippet of gameplay. But in terms of the premise, it is the most yeah. like... They, they try to control us so we customize our cars. Yeah, like, it, it okay. was so like, <laughs> so like, you know, and, and also uh, I think man. what really bummed me out was that I think two days before there was this rumor going around that it was going to be like set in the 80s and whatever. And I was uh, like, no, that is it sounds not? fucking cool. No, it's okay. modern day. Like, because I, okay, so I, I got that mixed up because I also remember reading like it's in the 80s. And yeah. I watched the trailer. I just didn't click. I was like, okay, that's. No, that's they cool. were like. Like straight up modern cars in there, so definitely not. Um, We've got the Tesla there. What is it doing? Yeah. <laughs> the Tesla wasn't in the eighties. <gasps> Elon Musk had a time machine. We just don't know about it. Um yeah, there hasn't been a good need for speed in a very long time and uh it, it's sad because <clears throat> Need for Speed Underground is good. Do you, did you play Underground? Wanted was a great, yeah. Underground, Underground, Underground one, 2. Oh, those were, 2 those was good. good Most Wanted Car- was good. Carbon. Carbon was, was the mountain drifting one, which I thought was good. I also enjoyed it, yeah. yeah. And then... Some good times, man. Yeah, I just... Every time an Eve Speed comes out and it's bad, I'm just like, EA owns the Burnout license and they refuse to bring that back bring instead. And Damn it's just it. like, fuck, man. Why are you like this? Um... Da, 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 da. Darren used the same header in two weeks, in, in the same week. Slacking, Darren. Slacking. <laughs> Slacking. Um, need for Speed. Heat. Oh, yeah, that Need for Speed's called Need for Speed Heat. Because it's, because you know why. Because it's hot. Because it's hot. 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 Uh, Take Two's boss said that linking video game violence with real world violence is disrespectful to those affected. Yeah, I don't know. I, agree. We, I don't know if we've actually, because oh, we missed last week. That's yeah, why. all the, the two so, shootings in the States. Yeah, so shootings in the states it's, it's sad to say it's almost like it happens so regularly mm-hmm. now you, you mm-hmm. don't even have time to be shocked anymore mm-hmm. but now what's basically happening is that um is the u.s government no not necessarily it's just uh, people like it was co- like some senators po- political and commentary yes, linking yeah. video game uh, the shootings well, to video game trump violence. eventually did he said yeah said it said it as well so it's like ugh, it's the same old scapegoat 
of like violent games are causing these shootings. And they know why they bring it up. So it's to deflect. Yeah, um, the, the deflect, actual problem. <laughs> yeah, conversation around the actual problem of gun control and whatever. But so it's like. It's amazing how easy it is to debunk. Like, I, I know you can't look at stats in isolation, but the one thing that's been going around since, you know, this commentary is people saying, okay, the number of video games, so active video game, video gamers or something, mm. there's like a stat saying like, America's got 150 million and these mm. people have, and the number of shootings, America's just like skyrocketed, but the other places that have... I think it was Reggie, big, actually. No, that I, that I, don't know if, I don't know if it is him who came up with it, but I remember no, seeing it before. No, he did share it, yeah. Yeah, I know. I think he might have reshared it. I don't think uh, he was the source of it. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, but it basically says like, no man, the gun, your guns are the problem. Like, yeah, exactly. Playing. Like if, if video games are the problem, Japan would be, oh yeah, yeah. You know, that, that's worse. actually the good example because Japan's got it's the biggest also video millions game of gamers, nation, but like yeah. no none. gun, gun Absolutely none. violence at all. Um, but what I think what really aggravated a lot of people, well, it, one of the things that aggravated further is that Walmart has now taken a taken down oh my god yeah they took like down, advertising on games they and took stuff. some it's, games off shelves or whatever but you can still I mean, buy your walk, automatic walk assault an, rifle there yeah walk an owl over and just buy yourself a weapon it's fucking I mean, ridiculous it's, it's, like absolutely fucking ridiculous like it's the same as that onion article it's like only nation where this thing happens says they can't do anything about it it's like yeah it's so easy to see what the problem is but whatever um there's a i've actually been watching a great series on um netflix called patriot act yeah it's sort of like a you know like a, a daily show like satirical news type mm-hmm. thing um and i watched it because they did an episode on video game crunch which is really really good um so i started watching other ones because it was great and they do one on the nra and not just the nra but it's influenced like globally yeah and it's kind of scary how the nra is like lobbying for looser gun control not only in the states but in countries all over wow. the world. yeah it's it's bizarre also did you know they're a non-profit no which is exactly <laughs> what the hell <laughs> what a time to be alive um da, da, da. there's a new sensor oh, in development i was very happy to see that i don't know i haven't like i haven't liked the past two but the uh, past two say oh no okay wait wait saints row three good Saint time three is dope yeah. Saint, Saints Row 4, basically a good crackdown. Superpower games, yeah. <laughs> True. Okay, everything after that, I, I don't have no ref. Like, I never played the Get, that, out, the of get out of Hell. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't play... Really what is the next game? Uh, Agents of Man. I never... Pl- okay, I, I played it, like, preview events and stuff. I never played the actual game. Mm. Um, but if they could nail, like... Imagine so. What Saints Row is best known for, I think, is being like not GTA, but yes, you know, a fun. Not not that GTA is not fun, but like a. a a more, a more, more like version yeah, version of it, yeah. weird version of or like the budget GTA. I think, like you said, it what was you wanna, whatever Saints Row Four it. was a good crackdown because hell, Microsoft's it's, not making a good crackdown. Yeah. So. so, but I mean, I I, I mm. think of games like GTA Five, which still somehow selling millions, so and millions. Much, yeah. If if these dudes could, you know, just harness that formula and put it put their spin in it, like they've done with Saints Row, it would mm. be cool. Mm. We'll see. I don't know. It's been a long time since we had a Saints Row. <gasps> it could be either very good or very bad. It could, yeah. It could It could go either way at this point, yeah. yeah. But apparently it's deep in development, so I oh. don't know when they'll be announcing it. They, um, THQ Nordic also said a new Metro is in development. Oh, um, boy. So, yeah. Dead Island 2 is still happening. Apparently, it's now got its third developer. <laughs> oh, my God. I have to read that, that headline. So, it says, Dead Island 2 is still, still, still happening with a new developer again. Again. Yep. <laughs> This game's never coming out. It's absolutely, okay. and it's for like a franchise that's not even that revered. Like I just it's, don't. I think understand. it's for like a niche following. Yeah, I never played Dead Island. I just don't I can, get. I why. can confirm that Dead Island has some of the best trailers what ever the made. Fuck is this? These are crabs fighting with lightsabers. There's a giant enemy crab in this new trailer for Killer Crustaceans duking it out with swords, lightsabers, and Thor's hammer. Fuck yeah! That sounds like a great game. You should stream that. <laughs> you should stream. Crabs fighting with lightsabers. Oh boy. I'm down <laughs> for that. So that's a thing. Oh man. Uh, what is going on? Splinter Soul will return with some new type of experience eventually. Yeah, I I guess at this point it, that that has to happen. Like Splinter Soul will come back, but I think it'll be like a bit of a different game. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind if it takes the route of like Hitman, the way more Hitman episodic changed. Or episodic or just like more sandbox. Yeah experiences for you to like dick around in that's so cool. yeah i think that's it 
Is that news? Hmm. That, whoa. Hmm. Oh, I didn't oh. mean to go into that. Heart, heart stones, Get us those questions. Results. Okay. Because you, you need to fly. You want to tell people. Yeah, well, that's fine. We've got 10, 10, 15 minutes. You want to tell people where they can send yes. questions? If you want to send us questions, you can tweet at us on Twitter. What is it? Twitter dot. Uh, no, what's just, our thing? Just check, check one, one chat. chat. Yeah. No, but the tag is Checkpoint Chat Podcast, isn't it? No, no, that's the email. It's just at Checkpoint Chat. Oh, at Checkpoint Chat. You can see who deals with social media. Um, <laughs> Not at you. At Checkpoint Chat. We've got DMs open. You can Always. email us, Checkpoint Chat, Checkpoint Chat Podcast at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. And then we've got Facebook, facebook.com slash Checkpoint Chat. That's it. We don't have a Discord. We do not. Nope. Maybe, maybe one day. Maybe one day. <gasps> one day. Okay. Oh, God. My emails are coming through. I okay, think so a lot of people we, send us emails, had, which is awesome. Yeah, so the count has been reset. We had we had two emails from Migs last week, which we never got to answer because, yeah, sorry for last week. What happened is that Alessandra had no power. So it just happened that we just couldn't record because there's no yeah. other time that weekend. To it, was more a thing, it, it was more a thing like, like I woke up and I didn't have power and then... I was like, I could come to you. And Matthew was like, eh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we just <laughs> skipped. We're yeah. like, I climbed back into bed and I stepped. <laughs> I have no regrets. <laughs> okay, so Megs last week says, okay, Meg, Megs has a thing for getting our name, giving our name spin. So he says, mm. hey, hey, Cyan, Pagenta, Calenta, Calenta. Wow. Last I don't week, know how that relates. Last week, okay, two weeks ago, Matthew mentioned he sees words before images. Does this apply to songs as well? Hearing the lyrics before the music. In Wait, my did case, you say that? It, no, because remember, I always say as a copywriter, I always look. I read the copy before. I, uh okay, so, okay. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Okay, so do I hear lyrics before the music? I actually, I'm, in, I'm the same as you, Mix. I hear beat before words. Weirdly enough, like, that's the other way around. Um, then no, no. So he says in my, he says, do I? Does this apply to songs as well? Does he hear the lyrics before the music? In my case, it's the exact opposite. So yeah. he's saying he hears the beat before the lyrics. And I'm saying I'm exactly the same. Is you hear the beat first. So essentially, you <laughs> yes. remember songs by their beat, by their not beat. their lyrics. Yeah, um, essentially. You, you can play, like, I'll hear the first second, not even a second of a song. I'll be like, oh, I know that's the song. Uh, okay, okay. But you have yeah, people like, I'm the same. you have people yeah. like Lenska who just know every word, to <laughs> every song, and I don't know how. Like, it doesn't matter what the song is. She just knows every single lyric. She just memorizes them. She just, she listens to the words well enough. I mean, I listen to the words as well, but I remember it from the beat mostly. Yeah. So. I'm bad at listening to lyrics, though. I like I'm music. Like, I like the song. Yeah, but the song's all about this. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Speaking of songs, we didn't mention it in news, but uh, L- Lena Rain, yes. the composer of... Uh, Celeste? Celeste, she's composing a new game called Chicory, I think it is. It looks so cute. Yeah, it's on Kickstarter. It looks really cute. It got kickstarted in one day. Yeah. I think they won it $35,000. Pa! They smashed it in one day. It's such a cute game. It's like you're a dog and you're painting it's, in the world. Yeah, it and looks it's awesome. So I stumbled upon it yesterday because she retweeted it, obviously, because she's working on it. But it, what really caught my attention in the trailer, it says, from the creative, from like, People who've worked on Celeste. Na- Night in the Woods, yes. Celeste, and Florence. I was like, those are three really exactly, great yeah. games. Exactly. So, and then I saw she's composing it, and then the one person working in it, like, did what level design or some shit? And that's like, I don't know. They've it's all had a hand dope. in those games. Yeah. So I'm like, that's really cool. Um, okay, next question from Megs. He says, Hey, Cootie Patrunti Karunti. Just a status Nailed update. It. I bought the AMD Ryzen 3rd Gen 3600 to upgrade my PC. Cool. Uh, we'll be up and running by Saturday. I'm pretty sure it's up and running. I'm pretty sure it's a big jump from the Intel R7 3770. Probably, yes. That's like five generations, six yeah. generations yeah, a year. That's that's Ivy, Ivy Bridge, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, yeah quite that's, a, a, that's a good upgrade. That's Congrats. A good upgrade, yeah. I hope it's Happy all you gaming. want and more. And you get super fast DDR4 RAM because I think the... The third gen i7s could only support DDR2. I might be wrong about that. But yeah, now you're up to DDR4. DDR, DDR5 coming. Unconfirmed, but probably. Dance Dance Revolution 5. Um, <laughs> it is. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot unsee that. <laughs> i got to upgrade my Dance Dance Revolution to exactly. 32 gigs. Oh. Exactly. Howdy, Claris, Paris, Chad. Oh, I get it now. It's CPC. Yeah. Well, I got what, it. What is your Nailed fave it. video game song used in an opening title sequence? Mine is still indestructible from Street Fighter 4. That's a good question. 
from an opening scene. The, the first scene. thing that comes to mind, which is weird because we spoke about it earlier, Need for Speed Underground. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the opening song? Riding on the Riders get, on get the low. Storm. Oh, which one are you get, talking about? Was it no? It was Underground One. Get oh, I'm low. thinking of Underground Two, which was Snoop Dogg's Riders Riders on the Storm. Hang on, I'll find it. Do you have? Well, you, you can answer the question song. What what opening? I'm trying to think title? now. Um, because it's hard because a lot of games don't use licensed music. They use their own music yeah. for openings. Um, Need for Speed. Hmm. Speed. Under. Uh, one another one that comes to mind. Sorry, I'm trying to find this damn song. Mm -hmm. um, when I played Final Fantasy X, mm -hmm. um, I'd often just start my PlayStation. Like, so I normally, I'll get a coffee or something if I play games. I'd start my PlayStation, let the soundtrack play while I went to do stuff. Just this chilled, mellow piano, typical, um, what's the dude who makes the... Onima <laughs> Namitsu? <laughs> You're asking the wrong person, yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is also really cool. Um, I actually have an answer now. Uh, Persona 5. Yeah. Persona 5 has this really good intro like cutscene yeah. with one of the best songs on their soundtrack that always plays. And no matter how many times I booted up that game, I'd always just watch that cutscene. Yeah. Because it was just super good. So good. Okay, so, you ready? Yeah. You, you'll recognize it, surely. Okay, so someone literally copied the, um, captured the opening of Need for Spin Underground. Okay, looking at loading screens, public service announcement. Oh, wow. Series. You really did, hey? Okay, you could have cut this out, random YouTuber. So was this Underground One? Yeah. Uh, Is this the song you're thinking of? No, no, no. I was. I'm thinking of the song from Underground Two. Okay, then, for sure. I remember the song. This is Lil John. The window. <laughs> 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 yeah, that song. Oh, uh, so okay. I, yeah, because I I have the Underground Two one in my head because I played that more. So what is Underground Two then? Riders on the Storm by Snoop Dogg. Well, it's a it's a Doors cover essentially. Is it the Doors or the Who? Two. One of the two. But those. But it's funny how we both thought of um, Underground. Underground. Yeah. They they known for some. some Back good in the day, the the wrestling games, the WWE games, used to have great music oh, yeah? as well. This is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, you know, it also had good. Um, what generally has good opening music are the Fifas. Yes, that is very true. Actually, I think, okay, this is showing my age. FIFA '98. '98 had this. Did it even song. have music then? Oh, of was course, it's it a fucking MIDI music. file. <laughs> Did it have music? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, music's been around for fucking centuries. What do you no, think? No, but I don't know. It's on a PlayStation One. Can that thing support music? <laughs> God damn! Hang on. <laughs> you know, this this was the opening song. Everyone knows this song. Was this '98? Yeah. Do you even recognize isn't this, this? Isn't this song two from... It no. is. This is FIFA 98. I know, but the, the song is Blur. Blur, from, yeah. Yeah, song two from Blur. Yeah. I always think... The song I, is actually called song two, which is so oh. stupid. <laughs> I always think of FIFA 98 when I hear that song. I did no idea the song was that old. Mm -hmm. Good times, man. Huh. Good times. <laughs> um, okay, next question. Yeah. Oh, do you have any other answers? No. No? No. Okay. That was a cool question. I think I we covered that. the gamut on that. Okay. <laughs> Word community peak chances says Megs. <laughs> I love it. What is your current <laughs> favorite song, artist, or album at this point in time? Ooh, I have a good. I have good answers for this. because I've been listening to lots of new music. Oh um, damn. Okay. Okay. Let me go to my Google Play Music. I'm so going to my, my Spotify playlist. Oh, right <laughs> um, I think I tweeted about it a few months ago, but I I really got into. Billy Eilish. Is it Billy Eilish? Yes. I don't know. Two. I think she's really cool. Um, but lately, I've been listening to a dude named Michael... Mm, Michael Kin... Buble. Kin Wanuka. <laughs> yeah, Kin Wanuka. Michael Kin Wanuka. He's like this... I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It's almost like bluesy. Yeah. Like blues, but then it's got some really good, like guitar riffs mm -hmm. it's actually used in a lot of openings for series and i only figured that out after i'd started listening to him and then oh, i recognized nice. his songs everywhere damn um but his album love and hate is amazing it's very good That's michael cool. buble Kimonuko. oh okay the other michael not the other michael buble, famous one. but yeah i would 100 <laughs> recommend that i what you got? i obviously no obviously i uh tend to listen to gaming soundtracks Same. more more than anything else and i still have celeste Playing on, on by, beach, by good yeah. old Le Lena Rain, who we mentioned earlier, working on another She's game. So good. Uh, but I've been listening to Crypt of the Necrodancer. Yes, by, by uh, Daniel Baranowski. Yeah. 
It's um, very good. Yeah, uh, yeah, unrelated, but Lenska, who listens to Classic FM a lot, says that they have segments every now and then where they play gaming music. Oh, so o- cool. Often, she says, correcting me in person. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's so cool though. That's I very love that. cool. I'd yeah. love to know what time slot that is so I could actually tune in. You just um, hear some like Hollow Knight on there? Or? Sure, I'd be so happy. Oh, yeah, but they some play. Like orchestral stuff. Like, yeah, often, often, often. And they, it's like from their gaming archives. I don't know Damn. Oh. Thing they refer to. Man, <gasps> I need to get on that. That I mean, some it's kind of surprising it hasn't been done like way earlier. Cause yeah. Because ga- um, gaming soundtracks are just too good. I've been listening as well to, um, you know, Supergiant Games. Yes. Those made Bastion <gasps> and stuff. Oh, they've got good soundtracks as so well. So they're busy working on Hades and um, Darren Korb, who's been their composer for like all their games. 400 years. He keeps updating a playlist on Spotify with songs on there because the offic- the official album is not, not out. out. Yeah. And man, there's some <gasps> good I'm, I'm saving songs. myself for that game. That, that dude has a... A like a sound to him. Yeah. Like you can hear a song and know it's his. It's straight away. But every game's got like a theme Different, to it. Yeah. It's, it's really good. I, like I listen to the Transistor soundtrack yeah, a it's lot. So good. Pyre's soundtrack is unbelievable. I should actually, I haven't played Pyre. Pyre's good. Pyre's very it's different, but very, it's got a, an amazing story. Yeah. God damn. Okay, last question from Mix. How do you check it perky choppers? That's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> what is the first creative thing you can think of when the words Joy Con Drift is mentioned? The first creative thing. Because he says to me, to me, it's a Switch exclusive car game. Essentially, initial D the <laughs> game. You control the car using the Joy-Cons to adjust the angle of the drift. I was triggers are used for acceleration and braking. I was, I mean, my brain went to cars, but I was more thinking like the car was a Joy-Con and it was yeah. drifting around a track. But I think, oh, okay. So well, I had like a scene from Tokyo Drift in mind, but like <laughs> with Joy-Cons. Vin Diesel's driving a Joy-Con. <laughs> There's nothing more important than family. Oh, no, wait, Vin Diesel's not <laughs> even in that movie. That's the one in what? Tokyo. Oh, no, yeah, he's not in that movie. Well, he's at the end. But, it, oh, yeah, he's like, it's the surprise. Like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's like a new Han. <laughs> and then the whole friggin' Fast and Furious timeline is so screwed because, like, Han died there, but then he's, like, in every movie every, after I, that. I, I need to watch those movies. I, I, ridiculous. I, I mean, that's the last one I watched, I think. Right. <laughs> Tokyo, people give Tokyo Drift shit, but that movie's so, so good. good. We, we have a lady at our office who drives like a maniac. We call her Tokyo Drift. <laughs> So, you know, we park off sites. We park at Josie yeah, X, yeah. which is just a dirt parking. You like, could go drifting in Josie X. When she arrives, she like flies in there and you just see dust. Like, okay. <laughs> you just <laughs> calm, hope you don't arrive when down. she does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I had the same thoughts. Joy-Con drift is literally a car game where you control Joy-Cons. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's... With Reggie commentating. Mm. Or you put a Joy-Con in a seatbelt in your car and you go drifting. Oh, nice. That's mm. basically it. Mm. That's and how I, I catch Pokemon in Pokemon. <laughs> oh, boy. You strap <laughs> your, your phone in. Did you see case. that news story of that guy who got stopped on the highway in the States? No. He, he was playing Pokemon Go on the highway, oh. but not just one phone, 10 phones. What? On his dashboard. How? Good lord. That that is that is a that is addiction. Dangerous as that fuck. is an addiction. Oh my god. What are you doing with ten accounts of <laughs> On a highway? <laughs> but more importantly, what are you doing with ten phones? Well you've seen that photo of that guy in Japan who no. rides a bicycle. No, you surely have seen this. I haven't seen it. It's a guy who like he's made a living out of playing Pokemon Go for people in Japan. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, uh, Japan. I need that job. Uh, Play Pokemon for life. Buy it bicycle yeah so he rides around on a bicycle which is far less dangerous oh it's in taiwan fuck yeah man. that's why these people are gonna that's really hate <laughs> you there. i mean japanese people it's in taiwan and he rides a bike huh? and he's got, got all those phones all these like arms for these phones and he plays pokemon go on them that is insane 15 phones on his on his bicycle you know, you know what he needs to what, keep what a gangster man what does he use to power all those phones the sun his that's a lot maybe a dynamo on the bike <laughs> <laughs> that would make sense. But look at him. He's just like, yeah, man. I play Pits. Pokemon Go. Pits. Uh, uh, yes, I'm boosting accounts here. So cool. Damn. Okay, last question comes from Zane, who we haven't what's heard up, from in a while. He says, what's up, guys? Hope you're both well. You're stuck on an island with no access to Wi-Fi internet. What three games would you choose to be stuck with? Hmm. Now, we've had this question similar before, except we've never had the no Wi-Fi internet part. Oh. So I think at the time when we answered it like back then, I was like, yeah, Dota 2. That's... It's so got, I'm going to make some assumptions for this question. We have every console yeah. we want on there. Mm-hmm. We have power for all of them. We just don't have Wi-Fi for any of them. And we can only choose three games. Mm. Not for each, obviously, but across yeah. the gamut. Yeah. 
Hmm. Um, I'm definitely taking a Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Because Breath. I can play that and experiment with it like okay. almost endlessly. Uh, I was going to say either that or, or The Witcher 3. Just a nice... Mm. Just, you need like one good long game. Speaking so. of, have you seen all the people on Twitter from CD Projekt Red tweeting them playing Witcher 3 on Switch? On no. Going to Gamescom. That's I think awesome. think our good pal Radic. <laughs> what a like, guy. Hey, I'm just going to... He, he tweeted the Geralt in the bathtub <laughs> screenshot from Switch. And he's like, just going to play this on my flight to oh, Gamescom. What a, I was like, what oh a my G. God. So you, t- you take Breath of the Wild, I'll take The Witch 3, Game of the Year edition, so I have all the DLCs. Yes, okay, So that's going to sure. keep me super busy for a couple hundred hours. Um, I would take Tetris Effect. Damn, that's a good one. Keep you nice and busy. Yep. And I don't need internet Damn, for that. No so. internet. That's a tricky one. Man. That, that really changes it. See, because like I'll take Mario Maker. Yeah, but I was thinking then Mario internet Maker, but no internet. screws that game entirely. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I'd want to take you know one of my one of my favorite games. So I can't take, for example, Hollow Knight or Ori because I'll finish those and you know I'm looking for games with, with longevity. Repay a bit if you're gonna, gonna if you're gonna be there forever. Yeah, oh, I know what I'll take. I'll take Bloodborne. Hmm. Because I I wouldn't say Sekiro because I think Sekiro is limited. You're like we've touched on this, you, you get your prosthetics, this that, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. you can't really tailor your character. Whereas Bloodborne, you could play the game. Many times with different weapons, different builds. I wonder if you'd played a Dark Souls if that would trump Bloodborne. I don't know. I, I'm looking to play Dark Souls 3 in the near future. Mm. So we'll see. Uh, third game. Um, oh my god, I need a third game as well. What am I going to take? Mm. Besides the customization, Bloodborne just feels good to play. Yeah, Bloodborne so feels incredible to play. so satisfying. Um, third game. Damn, this is a good question. <sighs> Yeah, just just the Wi-Fi, no internet part just yeah, really it, screws it, me because I've got so many so easy many games. games. Yeah, because like, you'd just like do a Counter Strike. Yeah, or or a, some, yeah. Now I'd, I'd drop Dota. Dota for Counter Strike yeah. immediately. Um, I don't know what I would take as a third because I've got my Tetris. Game. I've got, I've got Legend of Zelda. Hmm. You like a really good. What's a game that I like? I always return to. Maybe like a. <laughs> play journey See, like destiny would be great but but you can't online, no internet. Yeah. damn it so probably maybe like a borderlands <gasps> actually that's not a bad one borderlands you can play 2 that solo borderlands 2 solo i played with the siren like 150 hours yeah. and that's i still didn't reach like the level cap thanks to all the dlc and that's yeah, i play that game a lot like something something sandboxy so could be that like I don't I don't really like GTAs or whatever so yeah. I wouldn't choose that but I'd probably choose the Borderlands. Yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna cop out and choose Borderlands as well because yeah. damn that, that is a really good pick I actually. Think, I think that would work. Borderlands, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Borderlands mm-hmm. done. Yeah, that was good. Done, I enjoyed yeah. that. Mm. No, so that that's the last question. As far as oh, I and know. they all came through emails. Oh, email. I'm damn. Set that counter. Damn. No, nothing on a uh, Twitter. Hmm. Nothing on. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I have a comment on Facebook from my mom. <laughs> Oh, she asked if the gif you I sent put, was I your put cat. I put a gif of a cat. She's like, is that Lupin? Is it <laughs> I was Lupin? like, no, it's not. <laughs> When's Would the, Lupin she, do that? She hasn't seen Lupin in five months in her defense. <laughs> <laughs> she was overseas. Clearly forgotten what he looks She's like. She's like, Lupin has gone crazy in my absence. <laughs> he's also he's just not black anymore. He's just like a... <laughs> oh, yeah, the cat was like black and white. Yeah. 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 But Lupin's got some white. No, he's, he's black and white. But no, the cat was not black. Uh, I swear the cat was black and white. Let's see. Let me, let me get this gif up quickly. No, okay. So look here. Let's look at let's let's analyze this cat. Uh, it's, it's, way, okay, it's, it's a lot more white than yeah, Lupin, it, yeah. and it's a lot <laughs> fluffier than Lupin. As well. Such a cute cat. <laughs> God damn. Uh, but no, thanks but for your it. questions. If you want to send them in again, Twitter at Checkpoint Chat, uh, Checkpoint Chat Podcast at Gmail dot com for emails. Yes. Just like Zayn and Mix. Yes. And then Facebook dot com slash Checkpoint Chat. Yeah. yeah. We'll be done. Yeah, it was episode day. 63. Yeah. You've got to fly. You've got a brunch. What a brunch to go to. My mom's back from a poor it's land. the most white exercise I'm, ever. I'm going to brunch. Going to brunch. Going, going to, to put, scone. Going to eat, put mayonnaise in my Just, scones. Ew. No, nah, no, it's disgusting. What the fuck? Don't do that. That's only if you're really white. Get out of my house. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> jam on, jam, jam. butter on mm, scones. Oh, my goodness. Jam. That's good. Now I'm hungry. Is it is a piste just a Portuguese scone? I'll leave you it's with equivalent. that. It's equivalent. Yeah, Lenska says no. Why not? Would she you not put jam on a pashte? 
No, how no, no, I would never do that. <laughs> Why would you do that to a good fish day? <laughs> what is the Portuguese equivalent of a scone? That's a very good question. Hmm. Probably is a fish day, though. Mm. Well, well Lenska <laughs> says no. You know what it is? No, I'm done. The Portuguese version of a scone is a ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Uh, would you put jam on a ham and cheese sandwich? Fuck yeah. Why? Was Why? it you that sent that photo that was so offensive <laughs> yesterday? It was like a peanut butter and jam sandwich, but no. the outsides were the jam and peanut butter. And okay, I was like, that, that this hurts me. me on a I sent, I sent a photo yesterday where it was a plate of chips oh, yes. and it would look like an egg. Okay, except the egg was yogurt and half a peach. <laughs> and the, and like the chips egg. were slices of apple. <laughs> oh, were they slices yes, of apple? Oh, okay. I thought it was actual chips. No, <laughs> the slices of apple. Damn, I got It was like a disguised <laughs> breakfast. A disguised healthy breakfast. I'd eat that. No, I, I mean, I'd eat it, but I'd be so mad that it wasn't <laughs> chips and egg. Yeah, I'd More be More than mad anything as well. else. It's like the dude who made um, steak, but it was actually watermelon. No, nah. it looked like steak, but it was watermelon. <laughs> that is the most deceiving. Imagine biting into that, going, "Oh, oh yeah." Your, just sense, like, your brain would not know what to do. Like, like it'd just be like, "This like, is the the most the moistest steak I've eaten." Just like a <laughs> blue screen of death in your brain. <laughs> just just can, like, cannot compute. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, we'll leave you with those breakfast thoughts. <laughs> yes. Uh, send us f- what, send us what, food questions. What do you think the Portuguese equivalent of a scone is? Tell us. Tweet tweet at us. Bacalhau. But <laughs> why? <laughs> Just end the episode. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. Bye.